right. Um, let's go ahead and go over to Net Story Roads because um, this is interesting right here. Now, in Florida, Florida, and I talked about this last year. The Democrats were saying that um, that Florida didn't want to teach black history. That was a lie. Ron DeSantis even came out and said it is a requirement to teach black history. And they are now teaching black history, right? They are. Yeah. Did they but ever stop? They never stopped. I mean, they never stopped. They never they stopped never. teaching. Period. That the, the stopping of black history never yeah. took place in Florida. It, it never happened. Yeah. But however, in Florida, they do have these uh, curriculum uh, guidelines for the teaching of slavery. And the Democrats are outraged. They're saying that Ron DeSantis is trying to say that um, that slaves benefited from slavery, it like it was a good thing. Nowhere in the documents does it actually say that. And by the way, Ron DeSantis has nothing to do with this, by the way. Believe it or not, it was actually black academics that put this curriculum in place. Rhodes, you, it, you, did you know that? It seems to me like, do you think on a, on social issues, DeSantis is actually getting drugged more than Trump the last couple of months? Maybe. Um, at least, at least, not, be, not like Trump. I mean, Trump well, is in like Florida, him. they have murdered Ron DeSantis over this stuff. Yeah, but Trump and they're trying to throw Trump in jail. <laughs> it's way worse. Well, than Trump. I'm yeah, but I'm talking about just strictly on things like CRT and yeah, yeah, you know, the culture the Santa, war stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the thing is, though, man, when it comes to this whole thing right here, though. We got video clip here because um, this one guy, black guy, who was actually on the curriculum board was on with Jesse Waters. We got the whole clip. In case you guys uh, have yeah. not seen what, uh, what Kamala Harris is talking about, she's talking about um, they, they can't do this to us or whatever. Kamala Harris family, slave owners. <laughs> slave owners in Jamaica. Barack Hussein Obama slave owners because his mother's white his white side of the family slave owners yeah oh and kamala harris indian <laughs> just throwing that indian. out there yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she's a convenient black i guess you could say <laughs> we're, we're signaling in the black out of the bullpen we we need you to reach down deep kamala and and, and uh uh, resurface your blackness for the sake of checking boxes. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's utterly ridiculous, man, how this fake outrage from uh, Democrats is, is taken off. Um, let's go ahead, Rhodes, and um, dive into this uh, video clip here. This is Jesse Waters, one of the few good people over there at Fox. Listen to this, it's eight minutes, so let's play it. Today, another controversy in Florida. It's not about COVID, it's not about don't say gay, it's not about book banning, it's about slavery. Remember when the left accused Florida of not teaching slavery in schools? Now they're saying Florida is teaching slavery, but they're teaching that slaves benefited from slavery. The vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris, is the tip of the spear for this hoax. In the state of Florida, they decided middle school students will be taught that enslaved people benefited from slavery. They insult us in an attempt to gaslight us, and we will not stand for it. They she sounds so fake, too, man. She <laughs> sounds fake. <laughs> want to replace history with lies. How is it? that anyone could suggest that in the midst of these atrocities that there was any benefit to being subjected to this level of dehumanization that's what i wanted okay Rhodes. wow let's okay. say for example okay let, let's say for example let's say i was a slave okay and my job as a slave was to be a blacksmith Okay, then I get my get my freedom, and then I actually, you know what? 
I got these skills here as a blacksmith. Why don't I actually take those skills and better myself and become a blacksmith? Democrats saying, oh, no, you, you, you can't you can't say that. You can't. It's a fact. This did some of these slaves not actually take the skills they'd already learn and, and apply oh, sure, that to their freedom. Sure. Turned them yeah. into turned them into a trade. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 made a made a living after learning learning those trade skills. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, look, nobody can change that. That's the thing. Okay. Yeah. That happened. Yeah. That happened. Wow. Uh, let's continue on. Yeah. No one's saying slaves benefited from slavery. No one's saying that slaves benefited from being torn out of their continent, stuffed into deadly slave ships, and brutalized by their masters. No one's saying that. Anyone who read the curriculum knows that. Primetime read it. It's a rich, thorough, and rigorous curriculum. Even which CNN covers slam, over 400 slammed it. years of the black experience with slavery. Now, one element in this year-long course covers how, quote, slaves developed skills which, in some instances, could be applied for their personal benefit. Instruction includes trades performed by slaves, blacksmithing, carpentry, agricultural work, that through their resilience and aptitude were able to develop under horrific conditions. And then by their freedom, are also used to benefit their families once they're freed. Now, there's nothing controversial about that. That's historical fact. Even CNN says Kamala's lying. Well, it's amazing to me that how little Kamala Harris apparently has to do, that she can read something on Twitter one day and be on an airplane the next to make uh, something literally out of nothing. This is a completely made-up deal. I looked at the standards. I even looked at an analysis of the standards in every instance where the word slavery or slave was used. I even read the statement of the African-American scholars that wrote the standards, not Ron DeSantis, but... Bingo, you heard that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Black people did. here wrote the standards, not Ron DeSantis. That's coming from CNN right here. I mean, if you guys want to know a reason why Kamala Harris is actually up more unpopular than Joe Biden, this is a prime example right here. The scholars, everybody involved in this says this is completely a fabricated issue. And yet look how quickly Kamala Harris jumped on it. ABC News, which is owned by Disney and is out to get Ron DeSantis, spoke to one of the academics who created the curriculum. He said this. It is the case that Africans proved resourceful, resilient, and adaptive, and were able to develop skills and aptitudes which served to their benefit, both while enslaved and after enslavement. But what ABC didn't air was this. The only criticism I've encountered so far is a single one that was articulated by the vice president and which was an error. As I stated in my response to the vice president, it was categorically false. It was never <laughs> said that slavery <laughs> was beneficial to Africans. What was said, and anyone who reads this will see this with clarity, it is the case that Africans proved resourceful, resilient, and adaptive and were able to develop skills and aptitudes which served to their benefit, both while enslaved and after enslavement. Now, one of the authors of the Florida curriculum, Dr. William Allen, joins me now. So, Dr. Allen, why do you think Kamala Harris is being dishonest? By the way, Dr. William, William Allen, so he's a expert on this stuff. Yeah, look, two, look, two things can be true here. Slavery was one of the most god-awful things that ever happened in True. the history of this planet. And some slaves develop actual trade skills and skills that benefited them post-slavery. Yep. And even and in a lot of cases helped them ha make a living. And Both things all, can be true. And uh, Well, third of all, then, it was a global institution. Slavery there was. was. Slavery, there was slavery yeah. in, in Europe. There was slavery in, in Africa. There was slavery in Asia. Believe it or not, guys, the vast majority of uh, black slaves, guess where they went? They went to the Middle East with the Muslims. Uh, should it be pointed out that some blacks actually had black slaves? Yeah, yeah, they did. That, that was a thing, in, in, too. In New Orleans, man, Thomas Sowell says that one out of every three free black people in New Orleans were slave owners. And get this here. 
You want to know the reason why you don't actually see um, many black people in the Middle East right now? You want to know what they did to their black slaves? It was horrific. The black males that were enslaved, they cut their balls off. Yikes. They castrated them. That's why you don't really see black people over there in the Middle East now. Because they took the women and the women just kind of like merged into, um, um, you know, Muslim society because they were reproducing with them. Yeah, they don't teach you that. About what's being taught about slavery. Permit me not to give you Kamala Harris's motives. They are invisible. I don't know them. We can all have suspicions that there's a dishonest purpose afoot. It's political. But what's more important than that dishonest purpose is the truth. And this curriculum is devoted to telling the truth, whereas Kamala Harris has retailed a lie. Now, it may only have been a falsehood the first time she stated it, but when you repeat a falsehood, it becomes a lie. Tell her right now what specifically this component of the slavery course teaches. Well, permit me to have Frederick Douglass tell her. He wrote an autobiography in which he described how the mistress of his slave owner began to teach him to read. She pulled back the curtain through which a glimmer of light shone before the master forced her to close it. But that glimmer of light was enough for Frederick Douglass to illumine a bright flame that he exploited to his benefit and his country's benefit thereafter. Such examples are numerous and they are retailed in the stories of people who suffered the indignity of slavery time and again. And quickly to permit me to say, what this curriculum is about is having people who live the experience, who live the history, tell their stories. And nothing is more important than that we never, ever erase the stories that the people who live the stories tell. No one has a right to interpret before first understanding the stories as the people who lived them understood them themselves. Are there academics that disagree with your scholarship? Well, there are certainly academics who call it into contest. Whether you would consider Heather Cox Richardson an academic or not may be questionable, but she has at great length questioned it. But her questioning is as irrelevant as Kamala Harris's falsehood, even though she correctly cites the sentence that was called into question. Why? Because what is being done here is the attempt to create stories for our time and impose them on people who told their stories in their own time, thereby erasing their stories. And that means my Bingo. story, by the way. Because after all, my great-grandfather came to this country through fraudulent inducement, looking for opportunity only to find himself a slave. But he had the pluck to seek opportunity. And that pluck that he brought with him provided the skills, provided the initiative that allowed him post-slavery to establish his family securely. And this is the story of millions of people. Those stories must be told as the people who lived them experienced them. And no one should be allowed to erase those stories. Why do you think some people are uncomfortable having a conversation about the graphic and real nature of what slavery was like? Because they have an agenda and they only want slavery to be told from a certain perspective. Indeed, it's a wonderful irony when you think about it, that they are accusing the workforce that developed this curriculum of embracing the positive good school of slavery. That 19th century abuse, which I have refuted in my scholarship and many other people besides, these people are saying this is what's being presented in Florida. It is an absolute falsehood. If anybody is presenting the positive good school of slavery, it's the heirs of people like Calhoun and Tawney and Woodrow Wilson who continue to propagate the false picture that the birth of the nation was nothing but slavery. I can point out quickly enough that Frederick Douglass and Ida B. Wells in 1893 demonstrated in protesting the exclusion of blacks from the World Fair of 1893 amidst thousands of lynchings, that the accomplishments of black people post-slavery were the accomplishments not just of black Americans, but the accomplishments of American principles. And that is the truth that people seek to deny by erasing the stories of the people who lived through the histories.
more Dr. Allen, thank you for seeking the truth. I wish more people could have this honest conversation about our history. It'd bring a lot of Americans together. Thank you. You're most welcome. Hey, Sean Hannity. So there you have it there. And it should be noted, people are bringing it up in the chat, absolutely human trafficking is still happening. There are yes, definitely yes. places where slavery... The, look, the Muslim Uyghurs right now in China are, are, are slaves to... Well, some there's say more, even to, there's even more to slaves Disney, today. But, there's yeah, more slaves yeah. today than when slavery was actually legal. Yeah. No doubt about that. No yeah. doubt about that. Uh, I was going to say um, something here. Um about when you said that my mind just went kind of blank there for I mean, a second what's what's crazy is a race in history does not change history yeah you know i mean it why would you, why would everybody not want to know about the atrocities that happened back in the day and want the honest truth about it why would they want to get rid of that that seems to be part of being human is learning learning not to repeat history's most horrific acts you know and to be aware right. of those acts and it, it's baffling but that's what that's what the left wants to do actually is sort they of act like this stuff didn't happen history yeah they want to make it seem like you know because really after the civil war and i'm pretty sure the left doesn't want you to um to hear this but after the civil war man Black people really started flourishing here in this country. It started flourishing. But you want to know exactly where black people started to fall downhill again? A Democrat, Andrew Johnson. Now, I'm a bit fan of Abraham Lincoln. But I believe his biggest mistake was making Andrew Johnson his running mate, who was a Southern Democrat, by the way. Oh. So when... When Lincoln was assassinated, Andrew Johnson came in, and by a lot of means, people have voted him the worst president ever. Reconstruction stopped and set the country back, led to the rise of the Klan. And then, after that, Ulysses S. Grant, a Republican, he ended the Klan. <laughs> but... The damage is pretty much already done right there. Democrats have stalled black people throughout our history post Civil War. Everything. It's still it's still happening today. Yeah. Look at look around. Look, look look at your look at your Democratic run cities. Yeah. They're all shitholes. Hey, uh, how many people um got shot in Chicago last week? Thir 33 all the while Brandon Johnson and his minions are wanting to start a Chicago income tax something that has turned Detroit into uh, <laughs> I mean it's just baffling you know yeah I, I, uh, nuts let's 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 further take the kneecaps out from under the, the the middle class in your city let's make people poor if we can yeah that'd be that great. is and that then is they'll ridiculous, move, man. They'll move out, leaving the even poorer people more high and dry. You know, that was actually... Um, and I don't blame them for wanting to move out of there either, to be honest. I don't. So, I was I actually no, I'm reading something uh, the other day on Twitter. Um, the post said, how do you upset a Republican? You lie to him. How do you upset a Democrat? You tell him the truth. <laughs> 